High School is home to this week's Subway Scholar Athlete of the Week. She's a two-sport athlete and at the top of her class. Sports reporter Brenda Benitez has her story. Emma Hudson strives for greatness in volleyball and in softball. Michelle Schlieff coaches Hudson in both sports and she saw something in her at a young age. I first met Emma when she was in eighth grade. Uh, she actually started playing for my travel ball team, 18 under team, when she was about 13 years old. That five-year gap may seem a bit tough, but they didn't think so. I think she became the better person and athlete she is because she was around, you know, older girls who, you know, motivated her to become a better athlete, a better uh, TV. My parents have always motivated me to be like, try your hardest. And when your hardest isn't working, try harder. So that's one thing that's always like kind of pushed me a little bit further to my goal. And if that goal is becoming top of her class with a 4.08 GPA, well, mission accomplished. And she's very competitive. So, I mean, she's always wanted to be valedictorian. She's always wanted to be, you know, in ASB as representing her class. She's always wanted to be an officer for FFA. She's always been a want to be the best player in volleyball and softball. That's just her mentality. Add all these parts of Hudson's life together and you get a pretty stacked schedule. So how does she keep up? Accountability. Obviously we all have lives outside of school, but it's just sitting down and like taking the responsibility of I need to do my homework. That comes first before hanging out with friends. I have softball, I have volleyball, whatever it may be, I just have to delegate my time. The senior stays locked in year round with a stellar work ethic. That's why she's our Subway Scholar Athlete of the Week. From Biggs High School, I'm Brandon Benitez, Action News Now. And Hudson plans on attending Butte College to teach agriculture. She hopes to transfer to Chico State after. Good for her. Good yeah, story. Yeah.